my first paddling trip of the year and I'm doing a new river for me. I'm putting in on the north branch of the paint in Michigan's UP. Temperature is, you know, in the, I don't know, it's probably upper 40s. Water's very cold, so I don't really anticipate any significant rapids, but you never know with like beaver dams or down trees that I might have to get out. Two of them right here. <clears throat> Near blockage of the river. Birch tree down most of the way across. Fortunately, I can get through. And here's the first rapids on the north branch of the paint. A couple of rocks to dodge. It's pretty shallow. I can see in the summer this would be just scrape fest. This is the Winslow, Winslow Lake Road Bridge, which means I've come about two miles. It's been quite delightful thus far. I've got a section of pretty tight alders here. So just upstream there is a very obscure sign marking like there's a wildlife management project sponsored by the Ottawa National Forest and I think it said uh, Wildlife Unlimited of Iron County. And then there was a uh, otter splashed into the river directly across from that sign. The rapids here. It's like a straight shot. Forty-five minutes to get 10.8 miles. So I'd say the trip was quite delightful. There was no obstructions. Did not have to get out, portage or drag or anything like that. Most it was was like shallow, shallow riffles. There's a couple sections with that was pretty narrow, where you kind of had to go through some tight alders. But other than that, it was like pretty wide open. Nice trip. I'm at the Paint River Forks. I'm going to head from here down to Crystal Falls, which is about 30 miles. Um, so at least one overnight. I'm equipped for two just in case, because I know I'll spend a lot of time at Hemlock Rapids doing some scouting and portaging. So not sure how fast I'll get through this, but boy, it sure is a beautiful sunny day. Now, first couple miles below Paint Forks is private land, and it's noticeable because there are a few homes along the stretch. But now I'm in the National Forest, and it's, I mean, the whole thing is very scenic. There's a couple mile per hour current, the river's fairly wide, and just a beautiful day to be out. Well, I'm already at the blockhouse access. Looks like a nice landing. Used to be a campground. Not anymore. Used to be a class one rapid shortly before the junction with the net. Coming in. Looks pretty wide. You can see a little rapids upstream, a couple hundred yards. Looks doable. So it appears to be adding quite a bit of volume to the paint. Just finished with a long stretch of quiet water. Now here's actually a pretty good shoot with some nice standing waves.
be a public access. It's only for high ground clearance vehicles and, and preferably not in the spring. So that means there is no public access uh, downstream of Blockhouse and upstream of Hemlock Rapids. So if you go past Blockhouse, you're pretty much committed to running or portaging Hemlock Rapids. I'd say there's decent camping spots both sides of the river just upstream of the Hemlock River and that's really the only decent big sites I've seen since putting in at the Forks. There is some spots where you could make do with one tent here and there but for the most part you know there's a lot of more cabins than I anticipated and not a lot of uh, Portages. It took probably 8 o'clock till 10 30, two and a half hours ish. That was with three trip portages because we didn't want to carry too much in each one. I'd say the two portages were kind of equally difficult. Uh, rapids wise, lower hemlock is way more significant rapids. Upper was, you know, maybe run it. You know, kind of on the edge of what I would run solo, lower hemlock, I don't think I'd even run that in my playbook. So, just below the <coughs> Bates Amasa Road Bridge, downstream left, there's a nice public landing, the road is paved, and there are some guys there that just put in the floating dock for the season. Very nice potential campsite here at the mouth of the Chichigan Slough. This is Erickson's Landing on Sheltro Road about five miles upstream of Crystal Falls. Uh, it's run by the state, so a Michigan recreation passport is required. I was kind of wondering if Sheltro Road was going to be like some muddy dirt track inaccessible in the spring but it, it's actually a very very nice road it's black topped with yellow lines down the middle smooth smooth as a baby's butt so no problem accessing this in the spring well, here's my takeout just above the dam at crystal falls <laughs> 